Hey budget gardeners, Vita Loca here. Join me today as I show you how to collect the seeds off of a lobelia plant. So let's go. I used blue lobelia all over my yard this year. I used it up along my front walkway. I also had it along a side flower bed where I used to have some arborvitae. And then I also had them even in pots. I started all of these from seed indoor under grow lights, and I started them from seeds that I collected from last year. It is super easy to collect the seeds from a trailing lobelia plant, and I'm excited to show you today how to go about doing that. So I'm going to show you what you're looking for when you're trying to collect the seeds. A lot of times I like to look near the base or the bottom of the plant. Typically, that's where you're going to find most of the seeds. You're looking for a seed pod that is a light brown color, something like this. But what I will do is show you, compared to a white piece of paper, exactly what it looks like. Here's another example. Again, you can see it's almost like a tan or a light brown color. So obviously, you don't want to pick these. These are the blossoms. And you don't want to pick these. That's the bud. So that's going to turn into a blossom. I've collected a few, so let's go ahead and I'm going to show you next to a piece of paper how tiny the seeds are and what they look like. Part of the reason why I like making these videos on how to collect seeds is to show you how you can save a lot of money. And there are certain plants like the blue lobelia where it can be a little intimidating to find the seeds, but trust me, it's not that hard. So what I'm doing is I'm basically just going to Try to squeeze the seed pod with my fingers to release the seeds. And trust me when I say it, they are tiny. They're almost as tiny as the wax begonia seeds in a previous video that I made for you. And since I just collected these seed pods, they are a little bit wet. And if had I let the seed pods dry out a little bit, it would be easier to release the seeds from it. But nevertheless, you can see that the seeds are coming out. And next to the seed pod, you can see how tiny the seeds are. What I plan on doing is letting the seeds dry for a few days, and then I'll fold this paper in half, I'll use it as a funnel, and I will put the seeds into these, this small Ziploc bag here. I have it labeled as Lobelia, it's blue. I could put a trailing variety if I want to. It's an annual and the date that I collected it. And you can see, compared to this large dime, those seeds are very small. Let's do one more together. And when I uh, store the seeds, I won't store these bigger pieces of the seed pod or the shaft. I'll just store the, some of the smaller pieces of the shaft as well as the seeds themselves. But you can see I got quite a few seeds in just those two seed pods. So why don't I zoom in so I can give you a closer look of exactly what the seeds look like. Remember, fall is a great time to be collecting seeds. And if you don't have this blue lobelia, it's okay. You might have a family member or a friend, a neighbor, maybe the local park has blue lobelia. And if you don't find it this year, there's always next year. And now you know what to look for when collecting this particular seed. Until the next video, make it a great day with gardening.